Good afternoon everybody, how are you? Welcome to Craft Stash Live. Has it been a fantastic week for you? Sam and I have had such a busy week. There's been lives and videos all over Craft Stash. It's been amazing. It's been such a fun week. So we have got a brand new launch from Made to Surprise. I know lots of you have been waiting very eagerly for this to come along and it's now here. Lots of the VIPs would have seen a sneak peek yesterday. One of the many benefits of being a Craft Stash VIP member. You'll also have uh, got your 10% off too. So let us know in the comments. Have you purchased already? Uh, are you waiting to see more demonstrations? Did you make take advantage of getting that 10% off and the double points? Let us know. Um, but also we're going to be giving away some selected items today. So we've actually got a giveaway of over £100. This is going to be split between Facebook viewers and YouTube viewers, but it's at two different times. So if you happen to stumble across both, you can of course enter both. So we're going to pick a winner for some of the items at the end of this live on Facebook at the moment. This is Friday lunchtime. And if you go and catch it this evening, around about seven o'clock it goes live on YouTube, and you happen to comment there as well, and all we're asking for is a comment, um, you'll also be in to win, and I'll choose that on Tuesday. So lots of chances to win some of Sam's new product. So we are talking about flip and see, and if you've seen on social media already, Sam's put some lovely examples of this. You, I don't think, unless you're a VIP, you won't have seen it actually working. I don't think there's been any videos go out, but there's been some very sort of um, giveaway photos, but it's really good fun. Of course, Sam always does kinetic cards, lots of movement and lots of interest in there. Um, but I just need to uh, put a little disclaimer out. I am saying flip and see and not flip and see because I don't want anyone to think I'm being rude <laughs> so flip and see and I'm sure Sam will probably do the same as well uh, Sam actually saying the same because we say it so quickly so uh, items are from only 849 that's for the fabulous stamp set on there and then you've got numerous different die sets as well stamp and die sets too that coordinate so you've got the stamp and the outline die to match so Sam's going to show you everything she's going to do live demonstrations keep up with the comments because I'll be watching the comments and shouting out and shouting talking asking Sam any questions that come through that I see as well and just reading out some of the lovely comments as well interacting with you all because I love to have a chat and as always let me know how the weather is where you are because it's pretty damn miserable here okay so shall we go to Sam and say hello to her first of all I will come and recap that in a moment for those of you who are just joining us a few minutes late so Sam how are you hi hey everybody thank you hi. for all joining today just, just seeing some of the comments on my screen um, lots of people already bought it which is wonderful so thank you so so much, everyone. Oh, and with that priority dispatch for the VIPs, um, they, they may have it by tomorrow. You never and know. And the, uh, the gifts as well. So I spoke with the, um, the marketing team and they put together a carousel and you'll have, I think there's six exclusive gifts when you spend over £40 that you can choose. And people have been taking advantage of it, loving the stamping platform that was there. It is while stocks last. Mm -hmm. There's stamp, uh, no, embossing folders, stamp sets and a magazine as well. There we go. So definitely take it. All the details are on the website. As we say, when you go onto the website, you see uh, the banner at the top usually has most of the details. If not, check your emails because everything's in there too. And if you're not already a craft slash email receiver, you can easily sign up on the website. Um, so Sam, what is Flip and See all about? <laughs> It is just, just a really, really fun, fun collection. collection. So, so um, you, the, as, as always, always, the main mechanism will work with anything, but before I flip my camera my around, this, this is just, just one of the examples. examples. You see, I've got my little horse yeah. ring on today as well, <laughs> just to celebrate <laughs> the day. And then you just pull your tab and it will flip. It's and you'll awesome. reveal your cute character, number, it could be a floral um, arrangement. It's going to work with so much, and we'll talk about that during the night. Excellent. Okay, we'll let you uh, switch over then because, of course, we want to see the demos. We want to see what it's all about and what you've got to offer us. So we will see you uh, in a few moments. Okay, okay. thanks, Lou. Okay. okay, so Sam's just going to switch the camera around. It's uh, just like magic. Won't take you. Yeah, you'll probably hear some rustling. It's just Sam doing it. So, yes, um, there are items available, as Sam says. Now, those items will come up when you go through to checkout. So don't panic that you're not seeing them immediately in your basket or anything like that. When you hit checkout, usually that's when any particular offers that will apply to the items that you have in your baskets that's where they pop up and you get to choose you can of course say no thank you to anything but what's the chance that's going to happen and I love having this choice of gifts as well because it means that if you've actually got a few of Sam's items which many of us are collectible you know we're collecting all of them you can pick and choose the ones that you don't 
already have. Okay, looks like Sam is already ready, so don't forget to keep commenting to be in with a chance of winning some of the items. And just so you know, if you have already purchased, say for example, yesterday evening or first thing this morning, and then you win some items, speak to uh, customer services because very often they can just refund you your order so that uh, you get your items for nothing. So you still get your prize. Okay, okay, let's come along to Sam and see what she's got to show us then. Thank, Thank you. you. So, so this, this is, is the full collection. collection. So you've got, got uh, three, six, so seven, seven new products in this one. You've got your two main die sets, and I'll go through the size of those in a moment. Then you've got your um, all your farmyard themed stamps and dies, mm -hmm. and there's a sentiment set as well. So there's something for everyone, whether you just like doing your stamping and creating nice cards, you've got something for that. You've got the, the lovely dies, all of those icons, and I've got a lot of them already, which I'll show you. So I'll just give you a few more samples. So I just showed you this one here. Again, big shout out to Gemma. I saw her in the chat. Gemma's done some wonderful samples as well, and I'll tell you her ones as we go through them all. She's brilliant. This is the one I just showed you, so you can just see that again. This is using the barn door. You can have the barn door as a solid door, or you can just literally snip through the middle, and you can create that top flip that we've got here. It's brilliant. And, can... and there's so many other ways you could potentially be using this, not just as a sort of sta stable or barn door, isn't it? Even if no. you flip it horizontally maybe yeah, it can be anything the cards can also work anyway so i've got top folds we've got um the dl size as a landscape portrait you can, yeah do so so much with it and then it's a fully working card inside so you've got lots of space still you know to mm -hmm. stamp your message and write write your, what you want and everything you can see these are some of the icons here you've got the cute little lamb we've got the goat you've got the horse there the pig this one is from the creative stamping magazine which was a little sneaky kind of hint of what was coming next and some of you had already seen it in the back of the creative stamping issue um, of what was coming so yeah if you've got them they coordinate perfectly with this collection as well so the little pig is from the stamp set there and then like I said really fun puns this one have a horse and birthday <laughs> I've never heard that phrase before <laughs> you have now and mm -hmm. then um, this is the stamp set the die set sorry so I just grab I put mine all on a magnetic sheet so you can just see them all here all of the dies will pass through a standard die machine so you don't need any of your larger format ones for this so you've got your main plate which has got the stitch detail you've got all your mats and layers you've got your finger pull your arrow but also if you've got my push me pull you which is one of the options that you can choose as a complimentary gift when you spend over 40 pound this one coordinates perfectly as well and then you've got your main pull tab here and that's got the score lines and everything where they need to be can i just since you've just mentioned that um i just want to confirm because somebody's mentioned a code as far yeah. as i know there is no code is there for the us there's a code so if you're in the us when you go to check out in the code part it will say you know obviously add a, add a code i have put it on my um, post and it's mts free all in capitals and then, they, then that will prompt the carousel i think they had a few tech issues so you just need that code so that the carousel pops up and then it will have the same options that you do in the uk and you can choose your free there we go Dead there's easy. where the confusion is i tried it um, yesterday and tried it again this morning very very easy just enter that code if you're in the us mts free all right um so that's the five by seven and while we're there i'll show you the other samples so this is a landscape so this is a top fold five by seven that i done mm -hmm. you can see you've got all your space again inside and this one when i was designing this i thought i'm sure there's a way that i can add an, an extra kind of pop up with this so you've got your flip and then you've got these characters here can you see they're popped up and i've done tutorials for all the samples and i'm going to revisit this because i want to build it up even more is as that, well so i think there's some more clever ways to use it is that the back of a sheep or a goat or something on the right hand that's side that's the back of the goat so that's the front of the goat that's the front of the goat there's the back of the goat uh, brilliant <laughs> just hopping away um yeah so just again really fun hey have a fabulous day you got i love the flying lamb there as well i think that's really cute and then it's your birthday and again i know sometimes sarah does tune in but sarah is my illustrator she brings all of this to life for me so a big shout out and thank you again to sarah for doing all of this then we've got the llama this one here <clears throat> excuse me i've kept it really simple inside because i think it's also really good for gift cards so if you just want a fun creative way to um, send someone a gift card then yeah. this is an option so you've got llama wish you a happy birthday there lots of the icons i'll show you in a moment have little slots in the top so you can pop the heads in um even the tails you can have them like they're falling in like the goat's falling into the the barrel or something you can just have his legs popping out so it's a really fun funny all age i think um collection this one 
These are all from the die set. And then when you open this one, like I said, just kept it simple. Because you can imagine you can have a gift card there. The space on these as well is also perfect because I know lots of people like to buy the dies and then use them with past collections or their own stash. But if you've got my poems, it works perfectly with the poems. So you see the poem will fit perfectly on all of these panels. So if you want to have, you know, the birthday image on the front and then they open it and they have the poem or vice versa, but it coordinates really lovely with those. I do try to think about sizings and I pull out a lot of my past collections when I'm making these so that you can get them to work with as much as possible. Fabulous. I'm just going to pop this on screen and it's just for the US customers. There's the code. Hopefully you can see it. There's a bit of white underneath, but it's uh, MTS free, just so, so that's how you spell it, just so there's no confusion. Yeah. So that's put 40, is it $40 worth of product yes. into yeah. the basket? And then use that code. So hopefully you can all see that okay. Yeah. Okay, Sam, I'll, um, yeah, I'll get rid of this that's text right. now. So. And then two five by seven ones that Gemma's done here. So she's done again with that barn door. She's done it in the browns there with the horse. Hey, have a fabulous day. And then when you pop it open, happy birthday with the other horse in there. So if you've got Horace and some of my other heads of characters, we've got the um, the very first collection I brought out, had all the animal heads, and then we've done the animal antics. They're all going to work really well with this collection as well. So bring out <clears throat> those really old collections and their work with this. And then this one here, landscape that Gemma's done, to the coolest chick. And then when you pull the tab, you've got them all flying away there. So again, a really nice space here to to write another, you know, um, sentiment and things like that. Sam, your sound is very echoey. Is it really bad, guys? Yeah, I mean, it sounds fine from here, but I can't see mm. why it would be there. Um, mm. The only thing I can do is mute my microphone, but I'll just have to remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can tell. Oh, no, I won't know, will I? <laughs> no. Well, um, I'll, I'll just, um, I'll put me down. In case it's coming through microphone, my microphone, I'll keep an eye on the comments, see if it's any better. Okay. okay. And then, so Sam, I'll let you, I'll let you continue. Okay. For a while, and then I'll put it back on later. Okay. <laughs> if it's any better. So then I've got the DL one here. So this is something completely new to the MTS range. I've never done this size card before, and I thought it would be really, it would work well with this theme, but it would just be something nice and something different for you to use. So this is a DL size, which is our A4 card folded in half. So it's that four and one eighth of an inch ish kind of width. So these mats and layers will fit perfectly onto that. Um, Sam's sound is good to me. Okay, it's, again, it's it's not with everyone, but apologies, guys. Um, it's the same setup that I always do for my lives and everything, so I'm not too sure why it's doing that. So, again, you've got your mats and layers. Again, I go through all of this in detail in all of my tutorials that will be going out. So, from I probably gonna, I might pop one up this afternoon, um, which will show you how to build your dies, because I think that's a really good one to start, is getting these all prepared. And then by the time people's orders come in, Saturday I'll start sharing the main tutorial, so you've got them all there. You've got your finger pull again, mats and layers, pull tab, and then your main plate there that it will all work with. And then on to this one here, which is the farmyard icons. All of the fashion pieces, so everything I'm showing you now, is only down to double digits of stock left. We've got plenty of the main mechanism, but if you are wanting these, they are going down, and I, they're probably not going to last past the weekend. So just to let you all know that, because I know some people do wait a while, or you know, if you are thinking about it, just to let you know. I don't tend to do those salesy things, but it's genuine. I am being very truthful. There's just double figures of those things left. But this is what you get here. So you get 19 dies. Um, I'm now fine. Now Lou is off. Oh, gosh, I don't know. I've never been good with techie stuff. Um, so here's all your dies here now. Obviously, they're very plain like this. You can cut them all in white and then you can color them in with your markers. You could use your inks to blend, you know, different colors and things on them. But if you do like paper piecing, then this is how they look when they're all, let's say, dressed. So I've just placed these on here, but you can see how much they come to life. So I've, you know, die cut this in brown and then like a black trim and then I've inked it as well just to give it a bit more depth. The hay um bail there i mean completely transformed from how it looks in the die to then how it looks when it's all built up so i always say when you get these things sit down you know one afternoon and build all these bits up i have loads here it took me 
a good movie, you know, and um, a nice afternoon. And I got all of those put together. Love the little scarecrow there, inked up, made him look all dirty. The wheel, you've got the potato sack, which is the cutest potato sack. <laughs> and then the tiniest little apples. You've got a carrot and the corn there. Even the, the fork is very cute. You've got your fence there, the sunflower. Really, really easy to build, but um, yeah, still looks lovely. So, and then the little bucket there as well, which I've just, again, you can see, I've just added different colours there to it. And the tiniest little flowers, which are all in proportion to, you know, fill the bucket or to decorate the fence, you know, the little um, crate here. And like I said, they've got slots in them. So there's a slot here. So you can pop things inside. You've got a slot on this one here, which I've probably glued shut a bit. There we go. There we go. So you can pop things in that one. And oh, yeah, the bucket. So again, I'll do show you on that one. because I think if you do glue them, yeah, just need to cut through that. But there's a little slot there as well. And also the milk churn right at the top there. There we go. And that looks really cute with the little chick sticking out the top as well. So you'll see that on some more of the samples in a moment. But yeah, so what a difference, you know, to how you get them to then how you can, you know, make them look. But like I said, if you don't like doing all that detail, just get your marker pens out, you know, your alcohol markers or your inks, and then you can add different colours to them that way. So that's the farmyard icons. There's 19 dies in that one. And then we've got the fun stamps here. So you've got your tails and tops and your tops and tails. They're all, you know, they're both lovely. It just depends if you've got maybe an animal that you prefer more than, the, you know, the other. This one's got the fun little backside of the sheep, which I really love. And I said in my um, video when they go out, he looks really good on a little action wobbler. because You can have a little wobbly tail and you've got the little action stamps here as well. So it does create that, um, for example, here, that look of movement. You know, you can just see that little one there that I've added. Um, which other one have I put it on? I was on some of the other ones I'll show you in a moment. Um, yeah, so again, stamps and dies in those ones. You can see how they all look there. And again, not much more to say about those until you see the rest of the samples. You can see how lovely they look when they're stamped and coloured. And again, they're really easy to stamp and colour. A cow, black and white or brown. A sheep's white, you know, with a little bit of grey. So they, these are easy you know things so yeah lots of fun those ones um yes so the fronts and the backs match up someone's just saying then so here's your goat the front there's the back of him there's the front of the llama and then the back front of the uh chick or cockerel rooster whatever you want it to be again how you color it there's the back and then the little lamb and then the lamb flying so that one's a little bit different and then again your horse you've got the front of him and then the back you've got the front of the chick and then the back of the chick flying off front of the cow back of the cow front of the sheep back of the sheep <laughs> so they're all in there you don't get the heads in one set and then the bums in the other they're all together in their sets um the milk churn is very nice thank you for all the comments guys i'm trying to read some of them um what a great collection thank you june uh, thank you so much everyone and then this is the barn door so again all of these stand alone on their own as well so this one you have a really nice wood grain stamp so that's handy on its own you see that one there and then that will fit perfectly over the barn door so this one's got all your embossed details so you can cut into this and again you'll see that and i'll be demoing with this one today as well nice plate there pass through your, your dye machine easily you've got the little windows that cut out so you can have the little characters faces popping out and like i said as i show you in the videos you can have it as a full door cut it in half and also i've designed it so that if you cut it in half, it will work as, as we showed on that sample. But also if you cut that in half again, these will fit onto your DL panels. So again, you can create that look. So yeah, another nice set there. And then of course, it wouldn't be an MTS collection without a fun pun stamp set. So this one here is your farmyard sentiments. So you got to the coolest chick. Well, hello there. Hey, have a fabulous day. You rock. Lama, wish you a happy birthday. Hope you have an utterly awesome day. Ula Lama, thank you. Have a awesome birthday. Holy cow, you're how old? Stand tall. You are legendary. <laughs> Love your favourite herd. Happy 
clucking birthday. Happy birthday, you party animal. And we heard it's your birthday. Oh, sorry. And then happy anniversary. So I've covered loads of occasions there. And um, again, just a bit of fun. And uh, yeah, they go really well with all of these cards. But again, on lots of other past collections. And I've just got a few just before Lou may need to say something. These are just some that I've pulled out that they're going to work with. But if you've got magic color slide, they're going to work perfectly with that. If you've got my manual flip mechanism, so this is the flip, um, fabulous flip where you pull it yourself, they're going to be perfect for all of them. All of these windows, they're going to pop out lovely on those. The slide and reveal, this was a sample that I made for a magazine commission in creative stamping. You can see how I just thrown everything on the front of this if you haven't already seen this one. And this is your five by seven slide and reveal. So you can see how that all, oh, it did fold down this morning. What have I done there? Oh, the horse, there we go. So it all folds down. And then when you open it up, you see, you have that scene there. So you can see the scarecrow and the sheep there, and then all of that built up on the front. And then you've got, what other ones are here that I pulled out? All of the display ones, you've got your 3D lights and 3D display. I think this would look great with all of the farm animals and characters all inside that circular um, you know, shape with the stand and maybe have some lights in it as well. I think that'd be fantastic. And also the recent pop-up wiper book. I think that could work really well with this as well. And that's just some of them. There's even more, but I thought I can't just bring out the whole range, but there's a lot in there. Lou, did you want to say anything before I just show a few more samples and then start the demo? Um, yes, yeah, so hopefully that's sort of cured the sound. Basically, I have to hear Sam, so Sam then comes back down my microphone. So if I just cut my microphone off while Sam's talking, then hopefully you don't get the echo. It's funny because it happens sometimes, but not others, weirdly. It didn't happen with Sizzix the other day. You know, it's just one of those things. But uh, if you can just bear with me while I do the switches each time, then we can do it that way. And then you can hear Sam. So uh, for those who have just joined us or just stumbled across us on Facebook, we are launching the brand new Flip and See from May to Surprise, which if you've just seen an overview of the entire collection. If you're spending over £40 or $40, you're going to get the option of those free gifts at checkout. You do need to go through to checkout to see the options though, and you can choose one of those. Now, if you are in the US, as Sam has confirmed, you do need to use a code because there's just a little bit of a gremlin, but it means you can still take advantage of the offer, and that's MTS free, so made to surprise, MTS free. Um, that's free the word, not the number. <laughs> uh, I'll try and pop that back up on screen in a little while, but all the details should be um, on the website for you if you scroll around and you'll see those so uh, yeah I think that I think that's all I need to recap everyone pretty much knows why we're here we're looking forward to seeing the demonstrations but of course at the comments now I'd love to read out the comments but obviously I need to have my microphone on for that in fact I think I can probably still talk to Sam while she's demoing so I might just interrupt her and then say oh by the way so-and-so's asked but you probably won't be able to hear that so Sam will have to kind of reiterate it's going to be a fun one today Sam but um, yeah, I'll do that if I can. OK, so uh, I will mute myself. I will put Sam back on and um, yeah, just bear with me a second while I get that sorted. So uh, there might be an echo for a few seconds while she gets going. OK, enjoy, everybody. And I'll be back with you in a few moments. Thank you, Lou. Um, I was just seeing a question there from Yvonne and she said, is there a reason as to why this collection doesn't include a paper pad? Yeah, just sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. To be honest, there are tons of scenes, paper pads that we've brought out before with Mater Surprise. So people have a lot of those already in their stash. And you can just create simple backgrounds, inky backgrounds. But while I'm there, these here, I don't know how many's left, but there was very, very few left of this. And it was an old Daisy May Designs down on the farm. So if you do want a farm related background paper pad, grab this one. But like I said, I think there was like 20 units left there really wasn't a lot at all so there's that one but i've also used that one as well so the stripes you can see the blue stripes and how i used it on that one there um but we've got this beautiful sample that Gemma's made here using the double slider yeah yeah double uh yeah double just no double slider gotcha so many different collections and she's just inked the background there done a green hill done the clouds so you know lots of different ways to use this this is fabulous what Gemma's done here so you can see how that all slides down. She's created that barn on the front. We heard it's your birthday. And then you just pull the sides. It's a bit like, I can imagine this being like Noah's Ark as well. Like the animals all in twos. I think that all <laughs> looks brilliant. And she's got the stand on the back there as well. And another one that I think is brilliant is the slide, um, no, turn and reveal, sorry. 
and Gemma's done a thank you card here. And then when you turn it, you get, <laughs> it just made me smile. Um, Gemma, I thought that was so good. It just holds itself perfectly to be, you know, used with this with this card here. So um, I think the chick would look really good as well, the back of the chick. And um, yeah, uh, brilliant. Uh, Gemma said there, thanks, Sam. Tutorial coming next week. So there you go, guys. If you're not following Gemma, Gemma Lee Crafts on YouTube. She does, um, she's my DT, so she does a lot of MTS stuff, but she also just crafts and creates wonderful things as well using other things. So yeah, head over and give Gemma a follow. Um, and another thing, if people haven't seen this magazine, if I saw someone saying she's relatively new to MTS, so there's always new people joining. But this one, again, whilst, was, whilst stocks last, is an option for you to choose as your free gift. And it's issue 117 of Creative Stamping, and it has the farmyard animals here. So these coordinate perfectly with this collection as well. Again, same designer, Sarah, who's done all of these, and you also get a shutter um template in that one as well so look out for those like i said if you're in the u.s just enter that code mts free f-r-e-e -E, and um, you'll get your carousel coming up but if you're in the uk or any other country just go to check out and it will come up automatically for you to choose and then four more samples using the dl set here so again myself and Gemma. so you can create a triple a double or a single and i'm going to be doing a double today so then they've all been you know shown each way but this is how it will work with all three panels and then you just pull the side and you'll see it will reveal whatever you have behind. I think it's a great one for photos because you can stick things on here as well. Some of the mats on the front here will go on here so you can mix them all up. And you can see how that one works. And again, you know, normal cards, you've got, you know, plenty of space inside. And then Gemma's done this triple one with the cows. You can see the little flowers there as well. Holy cow, you're how old? And then happy birthday, you party animal. <laughs> I can hear Lou laughing in the background faintly. Yeah, no one else can hear me. <laughs> and then I've done this one as a portrait, but as a single flip. So I've created this fun little image here of, again, I didn't have any action wobblers, but I think that would have been perfect on a little action wobbler. But you can see the little chick there coming out of the, the milk churn and the gate and the grass. Um, that's using one of the papers from that farmyard one, by the way. And then it says here, holy cow, you're how old? And then hope you have an utterly awesome day. And again, all works inside. And then Gemma's done this one here as a single, and she's still kept all three panels, but only one of them flipped. So, well, hello there. We heard it's your birthday. And then you can see there, Llama. And she's used the little lights from the Paper Craft Society. And now my dog has just decided that he wants attention after I've given him an extremely tasty chew. So I'm going to have to just unfortunately ignore you sweetheart and um yeah i've got work to do so first sample let's go for we'll do the five by seven so i've cut everything and i'm just going to talk you through it all like i said the tutorials have all been done and they will be coming out as of tomorrow so let's just oh, apparently everyone can still hear me yeah. oh. well i don't know what's going on am i okay. as, i mean that's that's fine that's probably through we we joined by Skype. It's no secret. There's a Skype logo in the corner. Um, <laughs> I imagine it's through there. So yeah, great. Maybe. If you can hear, still hear me. Brilliant. I'll leave it like this for now. It's just when I come back to my camera, I'll have to put my mic. Remember to put my microphone back on, or you won't hear anything. <laughs> okay. So you want this one here, and I'm just gonna just like I said, quickly talk you through. So I want to get the two demos in, but I know how much I talk as well. So. <laughs> You can see how everything looks when it's cut. So I've cut this one here. Now I cut it with a brown card, which wasn't really that strong. So I've just stuck it onto a piece of white 300 GSM. You do want your mechanism piece to be a card stock. So around the 300 GSM, if you've got a paper that you want to put on the top, for example, here, that's got white card underneath. The paper wouldn't be enough to hold the mechanism. You imagine that, that pull and push motion is just not going to hold on paper. So do make sure you've got a card stock. I've got my five by seven card blank already ready. And what I'm going to do is show you how you, you, the first thing you want to do is do your finger pull. The amount of times I went to put this through and I was like, no, I forgot to do the finger pull. It will still work without, but you'll be kind of like picking your finger underneath to get hold of that tab. So you want to just sit this and the, the straight side there, I'm just butting up to the edge of the open side of the card. Again, I go through this slower at a much better pace on YouTube. So don't worry right now that you have to remember this because you can, um, you know, pause and stop the videos 
as you go. So just pass that through. It should cut through both layers easily. I've had no problems at all with it cutting through. Jim has told me not to say anything naughty as if I would. I was just well, sitting there watching. Because you thought that no one could hear you, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> would I say anything naughty? I did think it was, I did think the holy cow, your how old was really funny. So. <laughs> okay, so that was now, that one's now going to go over there. Okay. And then you want to cut this one here, which is your main plate, and it gives you your score lines. Again, as I always say, I like to go over mine with my scoreboard. So I've just gone back over those once you can see where they are. It's just easier to fold. So fold and burnish both of them. And then you're going to fold it so that you've got your thin panel here on the left and that panel and then on the back just the larger one okay and then we're going to feed this through here and this again once you start doing it more and more you'll know what you're going to do and what works best for you but i like to look at this main panel and just lay it down so it's in the middle of the card so i've got a nice equal white border and then just pull this out to the edge okay like so so now we know that everything is in its position. So I'm then going to just pinch these two together because I don't want them to move. And I'm going to grab my liquid glue. And you've got two pieces underneath here. Okay. The top one, you just literally want to add a little glue just along the edge. I'll just show you. You can use double sided tape if you want, just like so. And then just close that. Okay. Very easy to put together once you know how. And I'm sure you'll, you know, you'll pick it up quickly. Okay, so that's all in place. Just keeping up with the chat there. Exciting to see how this works. Nice and easy. So if you want to do, you know, this could be an embossed piece here as well, if you wanted it to be. Um, it's entirely up to you. Then you've got all your mats and layers. You want to take the largest one. So this one here. And I've got the same colour as the barn door for this one. And that's going to stick onto the side here so we're just going to add our glue just down that small tab now again you might want to use double-sided tape because what you don't want is the glue kind of you know spreading out further than it should so now this one I'm just going to make sure you've got an equal amount at the top and the bottom again focusing on this stitched border now can you see this piece is in the middle of that stitched border you know forget about the dip you want to make sure you're getting it in the middle of the whole piece Okay, so again, stick that down. So whilst that's drying, I went ahead and I've cut the barn door. So you cut it all out and it was in this colour. And then I used the stamp that's in the set. And then I cut it again in the same colour and then just cut along the lines. Like I said, it's another one that you can paper piece. And you can see how it creates Venus that just effect. Asked how, uh, how big that is, the barn door? It's big enough to go through all your machines. There we go. Um, so yeah, it's, it will go through all of your, your standard machines. So that's now going to sit over the top of this one. But before I stick it down, I want to have a couple of the characters, po you know, poking their heads out. Inside is going to have this one. So when this tab opens, in fact, it's probably dry now. There you go. You can see already that's flipping over. It might move a bit because it's not stuck on the card yet. This is going to stick inside here. So when you open the card, we heard it's your breath and the whole gang's there behind the barn door. So I'm going to have the little pig because he didn't quite make it inside. So he's going to be there. And then we're going to have, let's see who else we can add in here. This is the bit I loved. I've just thoroughly enjoyed playing around with all of this and, yeah, just having lots of fun with it. Maybe have him there and um, there's the other one. I think the llamas have to be my favourite. We can do another llama head there then. They're we do. We do. They're just funny looking animals, aren't they? Maybe. I like having things like this as well, like that way. So I think actually we'll have him, yeah. we'll have him up there because I just think that's a bit more fun. So you want to get those all in place. Just trim that away there. And then just trim away any excess you might have. I think that will work. So I see a lot of people have brought the dice, the um, main mechanism. What kind of things are you going to be using them with? Because I know that when we see these, I know when I watch launches, I'm like, oh, I could imagine that was so-and-so, or I'm going to mm. use it for this. So let me know where you're thinking of using yours. Okay, so Jeanette there wants to know where you got your three-section tray from. This is from B&M. There we go. 
I think it's still got the price on. Is it a fridge one or something? <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always use it for my um, prep, you know, when I'm doing launches yeah. and stuff because I can just have everything in there. And then when I'm done with the launch, I put that all into my smaller little um, boxes that I've got. Mm. So then I'm just tacking a little bit of... I'm putting a bit of glue on the back there to just tack this back in place. You just want to kind of paper piece it back in so it all lines up. And again... Kerry's going to do some with photos. That would be good. Yeah, I can definitely see it with photos. Again, the fabulous flip, that was a fantastic one for photos as well. So, yeah, definitely. So now I can stick that all on there. So I'm going to use my construction glue and just cover all of this. It's going to just make it nice and strong. Gemma, what was your favourite thing to use? I always forget to ask Gemma. She just messages and says, I've got it. I love it. Can't wait to get you started on it. I think we've got Christmas to start preparing for soon, Gemma. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. And then that's going to sit over there. Yeah, Christmas in July. Be here before we know it. Oh, I can't get to Christmas yet. I've got both my children's <laughs> and my mum's birthdays in May. Once I get over that, then I can think about Christmas. <laughs> I think I've got one more collection actually before Christmas in July, so it's okay. Yes. We're not quite there yet. I've got, I've got one more as well to release before. Okay. We go wintry. Right. Happy with that. And then we're going to now stick this down onto the card, and then you'll find the mechanism will work much better. So I've been adding mine, sticking mine all with foam, but you don't have to use foam. So if you're conscious about the the kind of thickness of the card you know posting it and things like that then don't add the foam on the back and that will keep it obviously a lot more flat so that one there and then just a couple of thin just to stop it dipping janet said um i can see this being good for cute fun nativity cards yeah yeah that would look nice you could do the um a nativity scene yeah with the front of the um the inn and then mm. in, when they open it you can have a nice little stable and the... yeah mm. definitely that would look lovely okay and then just take the backing off we've got christina watching hi christina hey she hasn't and commented then... it just shows you who's watching <laughs> <laughs> and then with this one you want to focus on the main panel getting that again lined up with the middle of your card and then that side pull tab will line up flush with the edge here or if you go a bit wonky like I did because a little mm. bit of the white there but you could always trim that as well so don't worry if you get there and you think ah just trim the side of it and now if we open that up we can stick this in so all you want to do here is just add some glue just onto here not a lot just towards the the, the kind of fold there and then that's going to tack onto there oh thank you um Debbie May and close that all down Thank you very much. I'll give that a good minute to dry. So then in the set, you get the tiniest arrow, really, really dinky one. So I'm just going to add a little glue there and scrub my tweezers there. Like so. Okay. Again, just give that a minute to dry. So now what I've done is the sentiment I've turned into a little kind of sign mm -hmm. there. So, hey, have a fabulous day. So that can be hanging. You don't want to hang it. You've got to be careful. Anything on that far left would catch. So I think what we're actually doing is we'll have it hanging there. And then I'll add a little gem as like a little nail or something. So I think I'll just add a bit of glue here. That's and cute. Then. I mean, you could have it swinging with a brad or something if you think ahead before you put your layers down. I guess. Yeah. That's cute. Okay, and then I've got these little ones here just from my stash and I'll add those over where I don't end up putting everything else. We just stick that one. Rachel's been crafting, it. so she needs to rewatch it all again. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I like to just have a few things around the bottom here again, just attached to the bottom of the, the um, what do you call it, the door there. We could have... See, I should have had that one. See, in my head, I had the sign up here, but then I forgot about the characters. But maybe we won't have that one for the minute. Let's get a fork in there and the sunflower. That would be nice. And maybe the milk churn with the little chick. We'll do that as well. There we go. 
Now we have the little fork just up along the side there. So again, just a little glue on the back. And this is why it's good to get these all made beforehand because it makes them putting the card together just easy and fun. And then you've got everything done. Right. I might put a little glue just back in there. Just to hold that all in. I love all this detail. This is the, yeah. the best part for me, doing all of this. I might have to have that up there, actually. We'll play around with that in a minute. So let's get our piggy. He can be down here. You get the idea anyway. It's just yeah, definitely. That building everything up. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to get that in now, am I? We'll put a little flower here instead. Let's do... Put that one there. And um, what else have we got? We've got some apples and carrots. We could do the bucket. I'll do a bucket there because I do want to show these pieces and how they all look. We'll do a bucket of apples. So I have that one down there, and we'll fill this up with some apples on the top. Let me get my tweezers out because I've got. I said these are so small, but mm. it's all these details. They stand, that, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's. I just. I love when I give my cards and people are like, oh, my gosh, look at that. Oh, my God, look at the tiny apples. Again, I think I've glued that slot closed because I've paper pieced yeah. it onto that silver. So just if that happens, just use your knife there just to kind of help it open again, like so. Thank you, Maureen. I'm just personally thanking people. No, 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 it's fine. It's Thank you. <laughs> um, have you named any of the characters, Sam? Rachel asked. No, I haven't. Not this time. I mean, Horace, that's Horace again. Yeah. It's got to be Horace, the horse. He's just featuring again. So Horace is there. But all the rest are new then, aren't they? Because we've never had any other of these animals in the range. So, um, no, I'm open for names. Start start naming our characters. <laughs> I love hearing people's, um, you know, ideas. Yeah, definitely. That little piggy needs a name. Yeah, piggy needs a name. There we go. We've got a little... Little, very cute. I mean, I used to love doing doll's house stuff and building like those mini little rooms. So for me, I love this <laughs> kind of stuff. This is like yeah. very, very therapeutic. And then I might have to do that one. I have that one there actually just in front of the, the fork there. There we go. Just give that a minute to dry. I'm using the construction glue. So it shouldn't take too long. But you get um, the idea there. Anita's uh, asked, are the animals the same size as the gnome? Um, the could gnome. You use the door for the garden shed? The gnome. The gnome, the gnome. Oh, the gnome from the... He's bigger, I believe. Um, yes, I know what you mean. The, the, the gnome die that I've got from the garden set. I'm pretty sure he's bigger um but i mean all the things like this all the plants all these small sets are brilliant you can have hanging plants from a door there and things like that you know you can change this and and there's just so many mm. i will be sharing you know what i'm like with my facebook lives i share so much in them um and um yeah i know you wouldn't have necessarily a sn uh, sunflower behind here but i love building up the fronts of my cards Carla, Ooh. why have you said naked gnome? Oh yeah, because um, <laughs> when I done a Facebook live, I cut him in nude colour and I just put his hat on him, and then the rest <laughs> of him it looked completely butt naked. <laughs> oh, so we did have though. quite a giggle in the um, in the live that time. Okay, and then I'm going to use some of these, and you'll see there's little dots here, um, and that's where you can add your little faux nails. So I always decorate it first, and then if there's any of that still visible then add these in because otherwise you know it's pointless adding them if you're just going to cover them with something so i'm just going to add some foam hardware there um henrietta for the hen nice mm -hmm. yeah good name mm -hmm. um let me see um what kerry says when i was little we had a rooster named benny for benny hill <laughs> mm. <laughs> i just got that sound now in my head Larry Lama, Ronnie Rooster. There's lots of um, there's lots of names. Yeah, another Larry Lama, Lily Lama, Henrietta Hen, Percy Pig, Muddy the Piggy, Cheryl the Sh Cheryl the Chick, Sheila the Sheep. There's loads. Sam, you're gonna have to go back through these. <laughs> I will find them. 
Okay, I think we'll do there. I think that's fine. So that's the front of the card. And then when you pull the tab, we heard it's your birthday and you've got the whole gang inside. Fabulous. Would you like me to do a little break? Yeah, if you don't mind, I'll just tidy up a little bit. No worries, I can do that. So, uh, bear with me. Wakey, wakey. No, my computer's not waking up now, unfortunately. Let's see. I think it's my mouse has gone to sleep. I'm still here. <laughs> so uh, that's Sam's a Flip and See collection. She's done just one demonstration and she's got another one. We are going to be overrunning today, by the way. Let me just see what the time is now. Yeah, we're already at quarter past one. We knew we were going to. I forgot to tell all of you. So don't worry if you can't stay with us. Check back later. So long as you've commented, you could still be in with a chance. Well, you will still be in with a chance of winning. And if we do announce your name, um, I'm sure you'll find out. Just come back and check at the very end. I always announce the name in the last few minutes of the live. So just come back and watch that. But chances are you'll want to come back and watch anything else you've missed anyway. And then you can catch up on YouTube too. And you can also go and comment there. So don't forget to do that because that does give everybody two chances to win if you are the winner just in case i forget to mention you need to just email craft slash customer services which is customer service at craft slash dot co dot uk and let them know when you've won which live you are watching whether you're on or that you won on whether it's facebook or youtube and uh what you've won so what brand or what collection launch it is and they'll get that out to you they're really good at um, answering you pretty quickly there at the moment so yeah so we've got made surprise flip and see collection from as little as eight pound 49 they are for the stamps um i don't think sam you haven't done much with the stamps yet except the sentiment have you so um oh, so these are all the stamps all the characters yeah yeah oh yeah. no the um sentiment stamps the eight pound 49 one that's the hanging one that she did so uh, that's that one so that's the lowest price item if you just want to dip into a tiny little bit of this um, you've got the mechanisms you've got the stamp and die sets there's loads if you are just joining us and you want to see what we're actually using you can either go along to craftstash.co.uk or craftstash.us I've got the UK website here and you can see everything uh, but alternatively just when this live's finished, you can go back and watch it again. And Sam previews everything in the first sort of 10 minutes or so. OK. All right, Sam, I'm going to come back to you and I will pop my mic back off. OK. Brilliant. Thank you. There you go. OK. So this is now the DL set that I'm going to be using. So like I said, if for anybody that missed the beginning, this one's really good because you can use it as a single flip, a double flip or a triple flip. And also you can have one flip here, one flip here, one flip here. You could have two at the top, leave this one, two at the bottom. It, there's so mm. many different ways to do it. And if I just bring back in these samples here, so you can see Gemma's got the three panels, but only the center one flips. This one, I've created a scene at the bottom and then I've got it pulling from the top. So you can also have you know, the pull from the bottom or the top and you can have it as a landscape or portrait. And then here's how it looks with the triples. So. I thought I'd do a double for the demo because I've not done it yet. And then, you know, we've got those everywhere. But I will put a double up onto my um, YouTube channel as well. Also, um, Elaine, position, I'm sorry. sorry Elaine Jasper, it's £40 or $40 to qualify for the free gifts. And that's £40 or $40 of this collection, this new collection. Yeah. There we go. So I've already gone ahead this time and cut the finger pull. I showed you that on the 5x7 earlier. And again, I'll show you in like most of the tutorials. But that's already cut through. I'm going to have it as a top fold DL. And I've already stamped my sentiment there as well. Well, hello there. And then I've taken the wood grain stamp from the barn door. And I've stamped all of this along with a couple of the panels here as well. And I've used the gate, like Gemma has here, as the door. So mm -hmm. as the detail on the door. Mm -hmm. So you can also use the barn door cut down. But I think that looks really nice as well for a door effect and just another clever way to use, you know, the dies in a different way. So I'm going to have two doors opening here and then to cover this, you're just using your characters. No one would ever know it's there. So that's what I did on the bottom of because initially at first I had when I was speaking with Sarah, I'd had it so that you would have like a bar that you could position. Mm -hmm. And it was just, there's a cost obviously behind these things as well, but it was just a bit too fiddly for someone to be able to line everything up correctly, mm -hmm. even with markers and stuff. So I just thought, well, it's actually really easy to cover those slots and create them different, you know, cards, or you just pop the panel on. But here there's a slot just across underneath there. Mm -hmm. And I just laid down the fence. So it went right across perfectly in the middle yeah. there as well. So you'd never yeah. know. 
no really really easy or like Gemma's done there she stick the the panels onto the top rather than you know have them flip so it's just a bit easier doing it that way so okay so you want to cut um the largest one is the main flip size so if you'd have any triple you'd cut three i've cut two today so that's those ones there you can see the size oh no sorry second one down largest one if you want to do a mat and you know have a mat and layer as well so the next one down again you can you know vary these again you'll know once you've got it which ones you want to use and then for the pull tab i've done two so I've just cut these ones here mm -hmm. and then the smallest stitched one i've cut two of them because that's for the inside where i'm going to have the horses so first of all let's pop these through so you have to put it together slightly differently with this one so again fold them so that you have the this one so you've got the thin tab and the largest part facing you on the back you'll see there's another line that's a guide because originally i had it that when you slotted this through you could use that as a guide to add your glue but as i said in a few of my um, videos when they go out it's not until you physically have the product and lou will know what she, i mean with this that when you start to put it together you're like actually i could do it that way mm. that's easier but when you're thinking it in your head before you physically kind of got it oh it's difficult nice things do change yeah. yeah so with this one here you're just going to slide through the back ones there okay and then basically i had it so that that line would line up and then you knew where to add your glue but instead it's easier to work from the front because i was finding yeah anyway yeah. just don't worry you don't need to do it that way <laughs> just ignore then, that line yeah then you're going to add this one through as well and then again lay it down on your card here so you see i've not got mine in the center and i've not used the mat layer which is this one here I'm just putting it directly onto my card and I've just realized though that I did I done my finger pull in the middle but I'm having it towards the bottom but it's fine it will still be covered so that's going to go there so then I just want to position these like so so they're straight and then I'm just going to put the doors over and it's the doors that I want to make sure I've got where I want you know where I want them to be so I'm going to bring this one back out a bit think about there and then that one over the top probably wasn't good for a demo to do red on red but um <laughs> <laughs> oh well like i said these are just for inspiration the youtube videos explain it all much much better yeah. but i think i'm happy with where they're going to be so i'm going to take my um where's my liquid glue just gone i'm going to dump it on put it back oh been very organized actually put it back okay so <laughs> take that one out for a minute flip this one over and you're just going to add your glue just to the end there and I'm just going to position that. Oh, just get it nice and straight. There we go. Like so. Okay, so that one's down. And then I think I'm going to use double sided tape for this because it's such a thin little panel. I have used glue as well. But if you've got any thin tape, just run that down the side there. And that's just going to stop, um, you know, any of the glue going again where it shouldn't. So just a very thin strip of glue there and then take the backing off sorry i'm i'm sitting here watching what you're doing and not looking at the comments and then stick the door down okay so right now you'll have this free so if you pull that you know your flip's going to work so if you want to do a quick test you can do all right so it's easy to do so then we're going to take the other one and again just slide through the back and you can see where i want that to go so again just flip it over add a little glue there you don't need much but just remember your your, your, your layer is bigger than this piece so you just want to make sure that that's not going to go over obviously anywhere where you don't want it to go okay and then again a little bit of tape just down that side i wonder what that noise was there and just realized it's the chain on the hair on my ring Oh, <laughs> I thought, what's that noise? It just made me like, I thought there was a bug or something. <laughs> okay, and then again, just sit this one over the top and just take it again from the back and just check that that all works fine, which it does. So they're all in place. So now on the back, you want to take this one here and you're going to line it up with the very end over like so so we're going to add a little glue see how much is sticking out is going to vary again you might mm. want to use tape here or you use your um double-sided tape just stick that one down 
and I tell you exactly what end and where to stick. Like I said, the videos that are going out, much slower, more detail. This is just to give you ideas today. So now when that sits on there, see we've got a nice border at the end and this is flush. So it covers the finger pull, but it makes it really easy for the person to be able to pull them out. So again, I'm going to use some foam on here. So I'm just going to cut a little bit for this end here. So it's all really neat. It's all, once you, like I said, you've used it a couple of times, I would say just, first of all, use some scrap paper, you know, some things that you're not really too bothered about if, it, if you do mess it up. And then once you know you've nailed it, then, um, you know, get your good stuff out. So I'm just going to cut two thin strips here. These are the Creative Craft Products foam sheets and they're great for cutting down to any size that you want so if you need some thin strips there then you can do that this is just to stop it dipping like i said you can use double-sided tape on here if you don't want all that dimension but i do like using the foam rachel you're so happy you ordered ah oh, i'm really pleased thank you again for all the lovely messages i get so many it's yeah i can't reply to everybody but just know i do i do see a lot of them and really appreciate it Okay, so again, it's up to you what you want to focus on. You might want to focus on this side and make sure it's flush with the card. I always tend to just focus on the frame all the way around, and then I know that it's all going to fit into place. So up on my tiptoes there, <laughs> and just lay that all down like so. Okay, so now we can start decorating. So he's going to go there. Again, just give it a test so I know that's all okay. And then I've got these layers. So that, that one's gonna go in there and this one's gonna go here. And then I did a little um, mirror stamping. So that's the original. And then I used um, Lou's um, media plate and, um, or gel plate, isn't it Lou? Yeah, gel plate. It's, yeah. it's actually called a media plate online, but it is a gel plate. It's a media plate is thinner. It's, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> You know the one. <laughs> yeah, if you search it, it does say media plate, but it's effectively, it's like a centimetre thick media uh, gel plate. Right. So again, just stick your mat, la mat and layers down there. I think I might just cut a little red, kind of just straight piece to go at the bottom so they look like they're actually leaning over. So we'll just bring that up a little bit in a sec. So again, you can add more panels here. Just use the mats and layers. And I'm just going to get him stuck down whilst that's drying. And then we can build up. I've got the grass as well, so I'll add that down. I wanted to do that last so I could make sure that it was all going to fit. So he's in there. Yeah, I'm just going to cut. I've got some scrap of red card here. Make sure I get the same colour. That one there. I've got two slightly different one slightly lighter red and one slightly darker but I thought what I might do is just cut that same smaller die I'm just going to cut it twice quickly off the camera <sighs> let me see there's loads of comments I'm literally engrossed in watching Sam's demo and I keep forgetting to look back at the comments so I'm sorry <laughs> if I've missed any massive questions I don't think there has been um Hi Simone, she's joined us as well. Yeah, I've sort of been keeping an eye on it and I haven't seen any any major questions come through. But if you have written a question and we've, we seem to have ignored you, pop it in capitals and we'll hopefully spot it. So I'm just going to cut just two little strips here from that same die. So it's, you know it's all the same um, size. And then it just looks then like they're actually, you know, peering yeah. over the barn door as well inside the stable barn whatever yeah. you want to call it I look like I'm horse mad at the moment with this ring on and anyone tuning in now be like what the hell has she got on her finger I mean <laughs> I'll tell you something it's certainly a talking point because I wore this out once when I went up the pub with my friends and they were literally crying with laughter really? even when I went to go and get a drink. People were like, I'm sorry, I've just got to look at your ring. <laughs> well, it's unique. <laughs> yes, it is. I think I don't think I could have it on my hand all the time. I think I'd get <laughs> frustrated with knocking it and things, but it's good fun. 
glue. Just let that all just dry. And then a little glue just here again for the... So, yeah, if you've got any equestrian fans, horse mad people, mm. then this is going to be a perfect card. Oh, okay. my niece, definitely. <laughs> and then the grass here, I wanted to just run underneath. So it's running along the card there. So I'm just going to, again, pop a very thin strip of foam. Oh, yes, there is. There is. VIP, sorry. Um Who's just reminded me? Lynn Harrison's just reminded me. There is a VIP bundle that includes the gel plate at the moment. Um, yes, there is. So there's bundles from myself and is Sheena the other one at the moment? And yes. I know there's an MTS one coming up. Yeah, there's up. an MTS and a Sheena. Um, oh, they're all up now, are they? And I think so, so. So there's textures, MTS or Sheena. You can choose the brand and you get... There's over £100 worth of product and they're around about £40. I think Sam's might be a little bit more because obviously there's dyes mechanisms that are a bit more money. Um, but yeah, massive saving on those at the minute for VIPs and I know the Textures one has got the gel plate included in it. There's so many great deals on there. Yeah. There's loads. I'm a little I know bit I have short that end. Let's mm -hmm. just cut that off. Just a little bit of the foam. Just a little, oh, a little bit short that end there. But again, no one's going to know. There we go. And then again, just use any of the little. Um, we could have a sack of potatoes here. You can really build up in this kind of centre. You could have just the scarecrow. Um, you've got the hay. Oh, carrots! You've got to have some carrots for the yes. for the horses. So we we'll do a little bunch of carrots and the potato sack there. Definitely. Again, you could have a sentiment on the front of these doors. You've got all of the other um, samples there with so much inspiration and different ways to, to use these. Like me and Lou were chatting the other day. I said to Lou yesterday, and she said, I've just got too many ideas. And it is, you kind of like, it can be really overwhelming making samples because once you get into them, you're like, oh, I want to do that, I want to do that. But you just don't have the time. And um, yeah, it's. Uh, uh, yeah, Rianne, that's right. Um, I think, sorry, she's just a, it's a techie thing. Yeah, it's just how we've had to do it, unfortunately, so that you don't get double echo. Oh. And then just a few little carrots again. You don't want anything interfering with the mechanism. No. Let's just do another one there. And there's stencil detail as well on some of them. So you can, you can see the little stenciling I've done on the potato sack there. And I do like making the potato shiny. So I'm just going to use some of my accent glaze, which has been reordered because I know um, it's sold out, I think, still. Or I haven't checked today whether, you know, it might have come back in, but I don't think it's in stock yet. But just a little shine. I'm sure it will be again soon. Yeah. On there and maybe on the carrots as well. Love this stuff. <laughs> just, just again, gives another just nice. Don't put your fun, finger in it. No, fun texture, and that shine and a little on the eyes there as well. But I think that will do. Just a nice little hello card for someone. Just give it a little tap on the back if you need it to self-level there. But there you go. So again, just be careful with that glaze there. I'd probably put a panel on there because I, I obviously caught that with a bit of glue when I was preparing. But like I said, you can have more animals and mm -hmm. faces and stuff popping out on these panels as well. Brilliant. And it will all stand up, you know, and be displayed like so. It's such a fun. Like I said, I've had so much fun doing these, Lou. They're just, it's really easy. But looks like, again, you spent absolutely hours, you know, <laughs> putting it all together. It's all done for you so you can enjoy you know decorating and everything absolutely fabulous um they're brilliant now shall i pick a winner whilst you're here so you can say congratulations as yeah well. i'll flip the camera do you want to just come off me and I'll flip yeah, the yeah 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 bear with me i've got to do the sound again. thing first okay. then i've got to flip me over there we go so you should just be me now <laughs> i'm very white compared to sam's blue background i just rather got white wall white furniture and i look like a bit of a ghost um okay so shall i she's just flipping oh she's going all sorts of directions making me dizzy if i look at that so just bear with her a second she's there okay i'm going to come back to her and then i will take my mic off again so bear with me
there we go so hopefully you should be able to hear us both now <laughs> that's our face um okay so chosen completely at random to win a selection of sam's new products is june uh, is it riling or rilling i'm not sure she said wonderful collection um so congratulations june if you'd like to email customer service at crosshash.co.uk uh, and they can get your prize out to you um sam this is going to be on youtube later so yeah so if i'm around i'm getting my nails done at half five i think so yeah i should be back in time and then i can tune in and i'll be in the live chat as well for anybody that is watching so hi again <laughs> in the future me actually um, you'll probably be able to see more of the questions and comments that way anyway won't you so uh, if yeah. you've got any major questions like i say if we didn't miss anything uh, maybe that's time to try and catch Sam, but we both go through all the comments after a live anyway and check there's nothing massive we missed. So yeah. thank you so much. It's a fantastic launch. It's obviously been very popular. We know that before we even came um, into the live, it was selling very quickly. So do you think by the weekend all be gone? Uh, from the way it's going, I think all the fashion pieces we call them, so the theme stuff is probably not going to be here past definitely not past the bank holiday i wouldn't have thought no. usually i find i get another wave coming through once it goes out onto youtube because obviously not everybody is on facebook yeah. so but the we we've we listened we've brought more stock mm -hmm. of the main mechanisms so they will last so there shouldn't be any disappointment there and um yeah just enjoy it drop me a message if you've got any specific questions or speak to craft stash customer service they're always happy to help and thank you again everybody yeah yeah really thank you <laughs> brilliant and we'll see you uh you and i next wednesday 12 30 we're joining everyone again with another creative craft products launch which will be fun Yay. she does know about this by the way she, nothing like she, <laughs> only just before she does. yeah yeah so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we'll, we'll show sneak peeks maybe tuesday if we've got any ready lovely thank you sam and thank you everybody else and we'll see you all again very soon all right take care bye take care bye bye